Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Mathematics. Really interesting question today, I would say like relaxing quick algebra question. We have 3 plus 3 times 3 divided by 3 and plus 3. So it's like a challenge for us, we have all the times 3, we have addition, multiplication, division and we have once more addition on the right hand side. So as you can see we don't have like a lot of complicated expression without powers. We have really easy like regular expression with addition, multiplication and division. So everyone learns this stuff in the third grade so very easy expression but a lot of students do this mistake and I want to record this video but before solving this question I would suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself what do you think is a correct answer right here we have only three options so it's great for you to check your algebra skill to check your math skill it's it's really interesting for us of course to check our answers in the end of the video okay here is our option here is our question and let's try to let's try to solve it I just wanted to write this question so we have three plus three we have times 3 divided by 3 and plus 3. As you can see we have a lot of mass operations. We have addition, multiplication, division. So as you can see right here whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. So we need to start from multiplication, from addition, from division. As you can see we have four combinations. We can start from this addition, from multiplication, with this division, with this addition as well. As you can see a lot of combination. And and we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. For this question I wanted to show you this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. Because this is the most popular order of operation in the world. But I want to say that I respect every order of operation. For example BODMAS, for example PMDMC. I will solve it according to PMDMC. Okay? Okay. Let's, let's, let's solve it. First of all, we need to know what is the correct order. According to PMDMC, correct order is from the top to the bottom. So we have six steps right here and we need to go through the steps real quick. First step parentheses because the first letter P is right here and the first step is parentheses. Now we need to scan where do we have these parentheses right here. Let's look at it. Uh, I don't see any parentheses, we don't have any parentheses and it's really great so we can reject this step in our mind because we don't have any parentheses which is, which is really great for us. Okay, let's go to the next step. The next step according to PMDMC is exponents, our exponents. Are there any exponents right here? Let's look at this question. So we don't have any squares, cubes right here. So it's really great. We have only three. And as I told before, we, we don't have any exponents and we can easily skip this this part with, with exponent because we don't have it. Okay, let's go to the next step. The next step according to PMDMC is multiplication and division part because a lot of students do this common mistake they say okay multiplication now we need to multiply it first but we need to look at it in a perspective of a group so multiplication and division this is one common group and we need to find where do we have this multiplication and division signs let's look at it so the first sign addition we are not interested in this because we don't need it right now okay the next sign multiplication but this multiplication we apply only to two both numbers right here only right here and we have division as well so the next expression is with division. So we need to group this element and we need to find this expression. So as you can see we found this expression. Addition we are not interested in the addition right now because addition is last step. Yeah. So right here we have multiplication part and we have division part. And right now the main question what we need to do at first? Multiply at first or divide at first? Or first division then multiplication. So a lot of students uh, have discussion with it. Uh, all over the world people discuss about it. But according to PMD we need to look at it in a perspective of what first sign is from left to right. Right here we have two signs, multiplication and division. Doesn't matter if you will have, for example, division, uh, uh, division and multiplication. If you have first sign on the left hand side, you need to start from this a division or multiplication. In our case, the first sign from left to right is this multiplication. So we need to multiply it first. Okay. So we have three plus, and right here we have three times three equal to three times three equal to nine. Yeah. You have nine, and we have division by three, and plus. Three. And right now, as you can see, we completed this multiplication part. We don't have any multiplication signs right here, but we still have one division sign and we need to divide this expression right here. Very, very regular expression and moreover, addition and subtraction is after 
multiplication and division okay so we need to divide and multiply it first real quick what is the first sign from left to right and then we can we need to add and subtract so in our case 9 divided by 3 is 3 so we have 3 plus uh, 9 divided by 3 is 3 and plus 3 so the easiest expression uh, we left right here so 3 plus 3 plus 3 equal to 9 which is option option c so here is my answer to this question we yeah we right here we have addition and we don't have any subtraction so saying in another world we need to multiply it first and divide it first and then add and subtract but this is a very tricky question i want to show you this great trick right here uh, of course nine is a correct answer but if you have this expression so if we have three plus three times three divided by three and plus three so here's our expression from the beginning and this is a great trick for you because we can easily cancel this we have times three and we divide by three so we're saying in other words we just do do nothing we just right here can easily cancel this expression and we, we have one two and three times three equal to equal to nine this is maybe the, the great trick for you but if you're interested in pmdmc solution this is my pmdmc PMDMC explanation. So I hope you understand this solution. I wish you all the best and thank you for your time. Have a great day. I wish you all the best and see you in the next videos.